have to be honest, I don't know that much about one scout jamboree. So can somebody tell me what, what is it? What's it all about? Yeah. What's the start? It's just kind of it's a gathering of forty thousand scouts from across the world coming together, mm. of which I think about three, four thousand are from the UK. And it happens to be the largest movement of UK nationals to another country in any single year. So yeah, it's just a really large festival, basically scouts doing fun activities. And where is it? In South Korea, uh, in a site called San Miguel, in like kind of the middle of it. So I mean, so when you're out there um, in South Korea, what sort of activities will you actually be doing? There's a chance for every person going there to go to the DMC, which is the demilitarized zone near like North and South Korea. So that's like. Um, probably like a day activity that we'll get up to. I think we're also in Seoul, we're going to be doing sort of a monopoly run where you have to go around Seoul in, like, in small groups trying mm. to find different things. When you're in San Miguel, yeah. what will you be doing there? Um, well, we'll be doing a lot of activities and I think how they're doing it is they're handing out a set of like tickets per unit per day and then that means you can do different activities and all the unit will be split up so they're mixed in with other countries and other units. So I know in the in the in like the halfway through a, mm -hmm. a week there's a culture day so basically everyone pauses their activities that they do around the rest of the site for a day yeah. and everyone has to prepare a stool in your unit that kind of represents your culture so like for British culture most people often do like tea and biscuits or things like that and I know we're doing like duck pancakes for our duck theme unit okay. and things like that. Um, and how long does it last? Um, three weeks. Weeks. And do you have to, presumably, you're um, camping for that time? Um, part of I think it. we have one week in Seoul beforehand, which is the capital city of South Korea. And then for the next few bits, we, uh, for the next two weeks, I think we're staying on, we're staying in the campsite. Tell me a bit about the things you guys did to raise money um, to pay for this trip. So all the five of us hosted like a big quiz together and we had like quizzes, uh, fishing chips, and it was like an overall kind of like fun vibe. So that raised quite a bit of money. We did lots of group fundraising, like the Hitch and Hard Heart. Mm. Um, cake sales. Yeah. yeah, we did some cake sales. Um, I think Lily did one at the Hitch and Cricket Club quiz. Do you find that a lot of your friends are now more in Hitchin and more interested in Scouts because of the fact that you're doing all this stuff and you're getting to go to South Korea to meet all these to meet thousands of people, you know, in the summer? I think I definitely like talk about it at school with my mates, like you're always asking questions like, mm. uh, what have you done so far? What are you going to get up to? And like, some of my friends are quite jealous and going to South Korea, so I think it's got them quite interested in the whole scouting movement. Uh, my leader group that I do young leadering at, and so just I told them about it, and they all seem really excited. And it's just like helping get people excited and like wanting to do it in the future, the next jamboree. Brilliant. So do, do, do all of you guys do some sort of volunteering with younger kids? Yeah. 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 You do clubs. So it's slightly older children, mm. and especially where I've got like my uh, badges for our unit, yeah. which is like the people we're going with to South Korea. They've been really interested about it, and recently they were asking me all about like the ducks on mine. What do the ducks mean? So because our unit is twenty two in bingo, it's like two little ducks. So we decided to go with the duck theme. What do you think you can then bring back for Hitchin and for this local area as a result of this whole experience? What will you sort of what, we, what do you think other people here will get out of the fact that you guys have gone? I think that a lot of people will get more knowledge about like what scouting is and some people might think, oh, it's just learning how to make knots and stuff like that, but it's not just that, it's like making friends, having great experiences. I feel like um, we can help people understand that and then um, it should build their confidence a bit because scouting um, I know, helps with quite a lot of confidence and independence. I think scouting helps to bring lots of different opportunities mm -hmm. like this event that we're going on, you wouldn't get otherwise if you didn't well, if you weren't involved in doing it. How are they dealing with language? Presumably you're gonna hopefully learn some languages, you'll probably learn little bits of other languages as you're going about so, uh, I think other languages our, our leaders have told us to prepare to use lots of gestures for like yeah, learning about stuff but then I'm sure we can learn some uh, yeah some words with them. So almost certainly there'll be people in your groups who don't speak any English yeah. and actually yeah. learning how to lead them and work with them or be led by them yeah. um, will be presumably quite interesting. It's a once in a lifetime experience really, isn't it? I mean, you will never go on another World Scout Jamboree. Um, one question, have you learnt more about the Jamboree from this meeting? Definitely, largely because I knew absolutely nothing about it before. And also because you guys have been very good at explaining how you got to where you are, what you're up to, what you're doing. And I think that when you have an opportunity to come back and talk to people about what you've done, 
people will really want to be scouts. And when you get more people being scouts, that will make it much more enjoyable for everybody going forward. Because some of you will go on to continue in scouting once you go past the age of 18 or volunteering, leading young people, leading people like you in years to come. Yeah. Uh, and so you can stay involved for a very long time. So I think that you've done a great job. And um, But just don't make people too jealous is my point. So just yeah. invent a couple of boring things that we did, because otherwise they're going to be really jealous. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.